back to using that old form again. So we don't have this in vertex form. Vertex form is pretty easy to graph, right? When we have it in um, vertex form, you can just find the vertex, see where it's at, and then graph it. There's a lot less math involved. Um, but now this is an in vertex form, and therefore I'm going to have a little bit more difficulty uh, being able to you know, graph. Remember I have to do the axis symmetry for this one and then plug it back in. So how can I take a quadratic that's in my, that's in my quadratic form to be able to put it in vertex form? Well, what we're going to do is what we learned before. We're going to learn to, again, complete the square. Because if you remember, if you have it, something in quadratic form, remember, first of all, we have it in this form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And now we want to put it in y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Quadratic form, complete vertex form. So to do that, we're going to have to complete the square. So remember, you guys can see I have a, a perfect, uh, um, perfect square right here. This is x minus h squared, right? That's a perfect square. So to get that, we're going to have to complete the square. So what we do, remember, this is already in quadratic form. So the first thing we do is we can set this equal to, uh, actually, we can just leave this y here. Now remember before, I always said, oh, get that to the other side, right, to solve. And that's fine, but what we're going to do now, we don't have to get it to the other side. We want everything to be on the same side, right? So now I'm going to leave it on the same side. Okay? And just kind of watch what I do. So the first thing we're going to do is remember, I, I want to make this, I got to make this a perfect square. So since I'm not dealing with this 2, I'm going to put parentheses around the x squared plus 6x. That is to remind me I'm not going to touch the 2. I'm only going to make a perfect square out of my x squared plus 6x. Because we're going to leave this as a y. All right? Or as uh, our y is our um, k. No, it's our y. That's our k. Or this is our k right there. Oh. We haven't created the k yet. So to complete the square, remember we need to take b divided by 2 and square it. b in this case is 6. 6 divided by 2 squared equals 9. So therefore, now, remember we added on both on the same on, on different sides, right? So now, Hazel, what we have is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, I don't want to add it to the other side. You could, but if I add it to the other side, right, if I do 9 plus 9, right, if I add it to the other side, if I want to solve for y, what do I have to do? How do I get rid of the 9? Subtract 9. So is adding 9 and subtracting 9, is that changing what my equation, the balance of my equation? No, right? You could say 5 equals 5 plus 1 minus 1, right? That's still, as long as you add and subtract, that balance is still the same, right? The values are the same. So when you, now, when we complete the square to get the vertex form, we can just add and subtract on the same side, but then don't forget we still have that 2 there. So let's erase the vertex form here because it's getting in the way. So therefore, now I'm going to add 2. Now, we got to practice again. We've been doing a lot of these. So now we have a perfect square trinomial. Rewrite that as a perfect square. y equals x plus 3 squared equals negative 7. Ah, minus 7, not equals negative 7. And then we now have it in vertex form. So ladies and gentlemen, now it asks us to find what? The vertex, the axis of symmetry, and the direction of opening. So the vertex, negative 3, negative 7. The axis of symmetry is going to be the vertical line when x equals negative 3. Because remember, Destin, it goes, the axis of symmetry goes through your vertex. And then it says our opening. Well, we look at our a. Since a is positive, our graph is going to open down. So a is greater than 0, so our graph opens down. And our vertex would be a maximum point. Anybody have any questions on this? It's x is greater than a, it is going to open up. Thank you. No, it's all right. I'm just having like a brain. Thank you. If you remember, it opens up, yes. You're, Vertex would be a minimum point. 
I want they ask for the opening, so we're gonna do the opening. Could you show us one more exit? Yep. Um, excuse me, guys. I have kind of two people going through. I have a good question. Yes, go ahead. Because remember, I added nine. And since it's an equation, if you're going to add on one side of the equation, you have to make sure you subtract on the other side of the equation. You did. You could add it to the other side. Y plus nine, right? Add it to both sides. But remember, we're solving for y. So we got to get rid of the 9. So then you could just subtract it back over. Make sense?